what's up what's up everybody afro joe here tell you like ti is again like always because that's what i do the most tell the truth i guess y'all found out thursday that the great comedian john rivers has passed away on thursday september 4th 2014 after having throat surgery on uh, getting her uh voice box fixed because she was sounding a little bit raspy and I was like, when I found out, I was like, oh, she's going to have surgery. I was like, okay, maybe she's trying to see what's wrong with it. Because she went to go check it out, and the doctor said she had to have throat surgery. And I kind of felt bad because she had to have surgery surgery for to get her throat, her voice box, voice box fixed. And to find out she had complication, her heart stopped, she was in the on the table next thing you know they, they put her in a coma and then you find out Thursday she passed away at 81 I was like for real I said she just wanted to have throat surgery because of her voice and this woman this woman is something else because I ain't used to watch her when I was a kid when I was a kid I never watched her because I used to hate seeing her on I hate to see any celebrity do do shows for, like from the red car because look, I think they're better than that especially John Rivers and she was a great comedian and when I seen her do the show Melissa Joan and Melissa knows best and I started watching some of the, some of the episodes and I kind of liked it and I thought it was very fun and I loved it I didn't watch every episode but I liked it I caught several episodes that came on air same with the fashion police I liked it and and I started learning more. It's like I remember that her and Johnny Carson used to be close friends until she got a shovel on. And Johnny Carson didn't quit being friends with her. Next day, you know, it is her show flopped and her husband committed suicide, which really put a damper on her life and upset her to lose a good friend like Johnny Carson. And her husband committed suicide. She's got to raise this little girl, Melissa, by herself. And so she went on, she had a talk show daytime talk show that she then that show was gone and she went out and she did her thing still some jokes stand up and all that kid and the thing she said man make a damn preacher blush the thing she said made me laugh so much man when she talked about Adele I said oh that's kind of mean but she was funny at it if you like to say if you can't take the heat get your ass out the kitchen and it was like the hardest thing to hear. It's like last week, I was like, man, a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, we, we, we lost Robin Williams, and she spoke about Robin Williams passing away, and she told him that every comedian has depression that comes with the territory. Being a comedian, it's like she spoke about Robin Williams' suicide, and she had her husband, her husband commit suicide, and. To find out Thursday that she passed away, and I thought that was very sad to see a great comedian pass away. Like her, you don't like Paul Moody said about Richard Price is comedians are not made. I mean, not made, but comedians are not born; they're made. Great comedians are made, not born. And I was like, well, it's true. I was like, Richard Pryor was made into the great comedian he was and is. Same with Joan Rivers and Robin Williams and so on and so forth. Now woman was breaking down more bear even in Dell she bring busting down barriers. And to see her gone is so wrong to see because the woman s said something. Set not said but set something where a lot of comedians looked up to her like when you see comedy go like Richard Pryor, Robert Harris, Red Fox, John Rivers, uh Robin Williams, man, they set a goal and they put on the best fucking show they can. And you see these inspired comedians trying to come out and they learn from them. You know that these comedians are are actually teaching these people how to tell jokes. And I felt kind of bad that she passed away and she didn't. She had book gigs and all like that cat. And I felt so bad about it. And I was like, I said that's the saddest shit to ever hear. This. Uh, Joan Rivers passing away at this age at 81 I said but you gotta remember getting up in your golden years it's like your body's gonna break down this woman now they they was doing a sp 
like she was doing a movie they was doing a movie about her and they had all these people working on this movie it's, it's called the movie's called Joan Rivers a piece of work and all these people working on this film working with Joan Rivers and they all in their 30s they said that they had to rest they had to rest because every time they got around Joan they it was hard for them to keep up with her because she's everywhere and this woman was so bothered, man. I couldn't believe it, man. I said, like, this woman is some shit that you cannot stop. She was like that train. Not trying to say she was not like it. But she was like that train. It's a good train. It's great. You can depend on it. But when she got out there and she did the damn thing, she did it. But when she passed away, man, and I thought that shit was so terrible to see her gone. Because she was so good. She was so good at it. She was good at telling jokes and telling like it is. Her mouth was like the gun. But her jokes was like the ammunition. I remember there was an interview she did and it was doing it from her home. And she had this, these filing cabinets in her house. And in these filing cabinets was note cards. And every note card was her joke. She always saved her. She always saved her joke. Joan Rivers always saved every joke she did she saved and I thought that's the greatest comedian to save your joke to save her jokes and to see a woman that was so great at what she did this passed away and it was something that's not remember I watched an episode of Joan and Melissa and it was the best and uh, she saw a placard for Johnny Carson that's, that was like her buddy until he turned her back on her and she walks up to the plaque and she sat down because they had a little bench out there and she looks at the plaque with his face on it and it kind of touched me in a way in my heart and I looked at it and I and she looked at that plaque and she said why Johnny why and you can see it in that face and even though she had plastic surgery done all these years to her face and Botox and all this and that that she looked at that placard, you could see it in her face and hear it in her voice that she was so upset about Johnny turning on her. She asked, "Why did you do this? Why did you leave me like this? Why did you Why did you turn on me?" And if you look that video up, you will see that she was so hurt by what Johnny did. I said that was her best friend, and when her husband died, she was torn to pieces. I said she lost her best friend. Her husband died she was upset this woman was hurt and she was looking for that friend but I say it like this man that, uh, she was great man I can say this man for a comedian like her to be so fucking ballsy and get and set a trend not a, the set goes break down barriers and do the damn thing you can see that she was comedy gold just like every other comedian you cannot be born. You cannot, like Paul Mooney said, great comedians are not born. They're made. And Joan Rivers was made into a great comedian, and she still is the fucking great. Same with Robin Williams, Richard Pryor, Robert Harris, Robert Harris, Red Fox, still the greatest. So many comedians have learned from her. Don't take shit from nobody. Be truthful and that, how truthful can this woman be she was so truthful and she told it like it is she was out there and she's like talking about celebrities I was like how many comedians do you know would get on TV national TV have a TV show and just talk about every celebrity she didn't talk about normal people she didn't talk about Ah, uh, these to these normal people need to go kill themselves. No, they talking about she bust out and say, like, these celebrities they get on my fucking nerves. I hate them. Eat something, bitch. And that would be so funny. She would crack all these jokes on celebrities. And that's what made me love her. That's what made me love Joan Rivers' act. It made me love her as a person. I didn't know her, but when she cracked jokes on celebrities, in my mind, I saw. In my life, I say it's finally a comedian that's worth watching like any other great comedian. 
because you will never see comedians do what she did talk so much shit about a celebrity that celebrities be all pissed off about it <clears throat> but it's it, it, it's sad to see her go and I feel bad for her daughter and her grandson because he passed away but to me I, it kind of made me wonder what the fuck happened to her voice what the fuck happened to what happened in that operating room what happened in that hospital now, you, and I'm glad that Melissa, Melissa Rivers is suing them and there's an investigation going on and it makes you question what the fuck did they do to this woman what the hell did they do to Joan Rivers she passed away at 81 just to have surgery on her throat and it's what made me question what the fuck happened I wanted to know and ain't no ain't and, and, and we need answers. I know you're gonna say, "Oh, y'all, you you gonna bring up the Illuminati? You gonna bring up the Illuminati?" I say, "You gotta question this shit. What the fuck happened?" And I question about that shit so much. It's like it's still funny. She had complications on the table after having surgery. Her heart stopped. They put her in a coma. And Thursday, 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 September fourth, two thousand fourteen, she passes away. And the day before my birthday, too. A day before my birthday. And it's like the worst thing. It's like, it's not the worst thing for me, not to be selfish or to sound rude, but it sounds bad to see her go a day before my birthday. And it's like, I say, this great comedian had, didn't have to die like that. She died so, she died too soon. And that's the court, that's how I see it, but it shouldn't be like that, but like I said, but like it's, but you can't do, fix it all, but. Follow me on Twitter. This has been Afro Joe. Tell me like the ideas. Tell me what you think, or tell me what was your favorite joke that John Rivers told. My favorite thing was she went on this uh, show called The Haunting. It was something like Celebrity Haunting. There you go. And she talked about she moved into this house. There was this house. Well, she moved into this apartment, and what it was, it, this house was this big ass house back in the day and so what happened it was a big ass house for several several people there's like some person on it and then after the person the owner died they took the house and section the house off like apartments big ass apartment she had the biggest one because there was a room that used to be the ballroom and she turned it into a sitting area and she had ghosts but she did it. She made something upset with. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, tell me what was the fa your favorite joke she ever told. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, Cillo Jr. 2033. Fo uh, follow me on Tumblr and tell me what you think. Do you think some foul play? I think it was kind of foul play on what happened. In a way, I think it's kind of foul play in a way that something happened to Joan Rivers. And I think there should have been a better investigation of what the hell happened to her. And, but, um, like I said, tell me what you think. What was the, your favorite thing? What was your favorite memory about her? Mine was cracking jokes on celebrities. But, like I said, this has been Afro Joe 10, like a T. is. Tell me what you think. Follow me on a, uh, Twitter, Tumblr, and subscribe to my channels. And tell me what you think. Peace, love, and take care of yourself, everybody. Show each other some love. It's been Afro Joe. Peace.